Often addressed as the king of the jungle, lions are majestic animals. Their fierceness, strength, courage, and power are what they are known for. Their mere sight gives us the feel of royalty. But ever heard how different these species are when it comes to their pride, territory, and their young ones? This story is about a lion cub from a zoo in Poland. Until he was born, the lioness was a protective one who loved and nurtured him. However, things took a steep turn only after a few weeks of this cub's birth. At an early age itself, this cub who actually was a member of the majestic family tasted the bitter reality of his existence. This story evokes strong emotions of sympathy and compassion for the cub. How will the lion cub survive in this cruel world? Lions are one of the most distinct and amazing wild animals. Though they belong to the cat family, they are the ones whose roar can give you shivers down your spine. They are big cats with a heavy golden mane. While majorly they inhabit grasslands and savanna, these exotic species are even reserved in certain zoos and habitat centers. In order to ensure that this cub makes it to life and is able to survive, the zookeepers came up with many ideas. They thought bottle feeding might help, but the cub would never even touch it. He needed mother's feed. Then, they came up with a strange idea. The zookeepers understood that only a mother lioness could help this baby cub. But which lioness would feed any other cub than her own? The zookeepers kept their hopes high about another lioness feeding this young one. Unfortunately, in the zoo, there was no other nursing lioness who could be a second mother to this lion cub. The zoo authorities needed another idea to help this animal. And this idea was totally out of the box. The zoo had even inhabited a she-dog named Carmen. And luckily, the dog recently only gave birth to a litter of puppies. The zookeepers came up with the idea that maybe this dog could help him with this lion cub. Maybe she could feed him. Was this even possible? Imagining a dog feeding a lion cub was itself a thought too crazy to be true. A dog family feeding a cat family? This was a very vague thought and an assumption too tough to happen. But the zookeepers were firm on giving it a try once. Carmen was a sheepdog, a breed which is known for being extra protective of their young ones. She was a caring and loving mother whose foremost priority was her newborns. This basic instinct of a sheepdog made zookeepers think that she would adopt the cub. Little did they know, it wasn't an easy one. Carmen already had her many puppies to look after, and none could guarantee if she'd be up for feeding another being. Her paws were already full with her puppies. But without further delay, the zookeepers took the first step, and it was a little dangerous. The staff at the zoo placed the cub near the sheepdog. It was a risky step that they were taking, as none were sure of the dog's reaction to this decision. They just hoped that this idea worked and that the little one got a mother. But was he lucky enough to get one? Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now back to the story. As the cub was placed next to the puppies, Carmen could sense something was different. She came close to the cub and began to sniff him. And one knows a dog can never be wrong with its sense of smell. Carmen soon realized that a look-alike of her puppies was not hers, and in fact wasn't even a puppy. What next? Carmen got a little distant from this intruder. She did not know how to behave or react to this one. Poor cub. He was already devoid of his lioness mother, and now even Carmen seemed to do the same. But with time, something unexpected happened. After a week of staying in close proximity, Carmen developed an attachment with the cub. It came as a surprise to everyone that the dog who was always far from this cub was actually now licking and hugging him. The zookeeper's prayers were answered. But did this mean that she'll feed him as well? Everyone at the zoo drew a single conclusion that, as the sheepdog recently delivered the puppies, her motherly instincts were still intact. Maybe finding the lion cub this calm near her, well, it made her begin to care for him and look after him. The poor cub finally got a mother. But there was something more to be looked after. The staff was glad that the dog accepted the lion cub, but there was still one major problem. Would the puppies accept and allow the lion cub near their mother? 
The puppies could gang up together and could also stop the cub from coming close to their mom. Until now, the zoo staff had kept the club close to Carmen and not her pups. They decided to place the pups also with the cub and see the reaction. However, with Carmen's acceptance of the lion cub, they were quite hopeful with the pups as well. Thankfully, the pups also accepted the cub as a part of their family. And the cub was almost the same size as the pups, so his presence didn't affect the puppies. Rather, they all got along quite well. Well, this wasn't the end yet. The cub was fortunately treated the way he deserved to be. The pups wholeheartedly accepted him and would treat him like an elder sibling. Not only this, but the cub also started to feed at the same time as the pups. This was simply beautiful. Carmen really made everyone at the zoo proud. She turned out to be a true mother. She was more than happy to help the abandoned lion cub. Probably even the cub was lucky to have a mother like her. She is living happily with her pups and the new baby cub. Yet there was another question. Well, currently, the lion cub was in desperate need of nourishment, so he gradually loved Carmen. But one can never ignore the question that once this cub grows into an adult lion, how will he react to Carmen? Will the king of the jungle even remember the sheepdog, or would his wild instincts take over? Well, one can never predict the future, but all one can do is hope that the lion cub would respect Carmen, who had fed him and continues to love her throughout. However, up until now, the zookeepers were glad about the current situation, as the cub finally got a loving family and was happy. The cub has accepted his new family and is very happy with them. And not only this, but he's even embraced them all in his little arms. He is doing well with his sibling puppies and doggo mother. We hope that he continues to love them like this all his life. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.